I bought a 2023 Tesla Model Y brand new. Before that, I was driving a 2020 Range Rover full size. And so now that I bought this new Tesla or I'm leasing this new Tesla, I have to go ahead and sell my current vehicle. Now this car's all black, it's sick, but the problem is it's getting to about 60,000 miles in Land Rovers and Range Rovers. The higher miles they get, the more and more expensive it's gonna be. It was probably gonna need brakes soon. It's probably gonna need tires soon. It's probably gonna need a bunch of different things that are gonna cost five to $10,000 to keep it up to date and maintenance. I had a certified pre-owned warranty on it as well. And that just expired, which is a main reason Reason why I'm getting rid of it. So there's a couple ways you can go about selling a car. One, you can trade it in when you are buying a new vehicle. I'm leasing in this instance with the Tesla, so I didn't want to trade in as well as I own the vehicle outright. So I want to get the cash out of it because I'm starting a new lease with it. Now, when you trade in, there are benefits. You get tax credits. So when you buy a vehicle, you have to pay the full tax in the amount. If you trade in a vehicle, you get a tax credit for the price that you paid on the previous car because you already paid tax. But for this instance, we're not going to be trading it. Second option is private. So you can go ahead and list a car on places like autotrader, cars.com, Facebook Marketplace, but you deal with with a lot of people who are BSing you, people who waste your time, who message you, are you available? They want to meet up. They don't show up. They get there. They just want to test drive the car. They get there and everything's wrong. You have to pay all this money to fix it, blah, 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 blah. And with owning my Range Rover outright and finding this car available and ready to go, I want to sell the car quick and easy. So the third option is selling it to a website like Kyrana, CarMax, Kelly Blue Book, things of that nature, places that will give you instant cash offers. I'm going to end up going with Carvana. So I want to show you exactly how it works. It's pretty similar on all the sites. This is not an ad either. Carvana has a lot of issues and has had a ton of problems. It's not an ad, I swear. I'm just showing you how this works. So essentially you go to the website and you put in your license plate or VIN. I'm going to put the VIN in and it's going to say get my offer. So once you do that, it looks for your vehicle and then it goes ahead and finds the basic options that the car has and you can go ahead and add if you had any more options additionally so you put in the mileage mine had 60,000 I'm putting that in a rough number because I already have the actual offer you put in the zip code I'm just gonna put in the zip code you put color it goes down you're saying you're gonna sell trade in not sure I'm gonna put sell I don't have a loan or a lease. I own the car outright. You can sell if you have a loan or a lease. They can buy you out of your lease or they can buy you out of your loan. And if you have negative equity, you can pay it off. If you have positive equity, they'll give you a check. So you come in and find the different options. Adaptive cruise control mine has, heads up display, cooled seats, premium wheels, entertainment, vision, and driver assist package. Go down, go to condition history has no accidents, it's drivable, no issues whatsoever with the engine, there's no check engine lights, there's no rock chips, there's no dents, there's nothing, it's all good. So no exterior damage, no interior damage, no modifications, not smoked in, two keys, pretty great, cause it is, and then you put your email and you submit you'll get an instant cash offer that you can take for your car. Now, this is gonna be less than if you sold the car private, but with that, you're saving time and money because you get an instant cash offer. So let's go over some of the offers that I got. First instant cash offer was from Kelly Blue Book and it is $33,039. Now, what Kelly Blue Book does is they send out that car to different dealerships locally and then they'll also call you. So one of my buddies who owns a dealership here ended up calling me saying that that offer was gonna be around that or less. CarMax told me to come in to do an in-person appraisal. I think they do that just so they can get somebody to like on the spot, sell the car. And then Carvana's offer comparatively was a lot better. So the Carvana offer that I got was $36,400. Now you guys might think that's low for that car. It is pretty low, especially compared to what I paid. The car is out of warranty. It's four years old now. It has 60,000 miles. It has some wear and tear on it, nothing crazy. And if I were to private sell the car, I could probably get 40, 40 to 42, I would guess if I private sold it, but then I'd have to spend my time dealing with different people, things of that nature, and potentially having to repair things, get new tires so that the next buyer could do that. Whereas when you're selling it to like Carvana, they're taking it where they know that they're probably gonna have to put tires, or probably gonna get new brakes, or probably gonna have to do engine oil, all that kind of stuff. Let's see how simple this process is. I've never sold a car to Carvana, but I've heard some nightmares of people buying cars from there that are stolen but I've heard that it's an okay experience to sell to Carvana. They say it should take less than 15 minutes once you take your offer. So let's get started on the process. We're about to head out to Carvana to sell the Ranger and I wanna make sure I have everything that I need. The main important things are one, the keys. I have two keys here because I marked it down as having both. So that probably helps out a little bit. I'm also bringing the title with me. Now, you don't have to have to have the car paid off to sell it to them. They can pay off the balance. And if you have negative equity, they can pay for it. For me, in my instance, I have the title, it's paid off. And so we're basically just gonna get a check for the full amount. So the location that they gave us is 30 minutes away. It's not a Carvana location. It's some like car finance center. And they said it'd be quick, 15 minutes. I filled out all the paperwork on my computer before about like transferring the title. So we'll see how it goes. We're gonna pull in. My wife's following me there to go ahead and take me home. And then uh, 
I'm gonna have no daily driver for just a day. My new car is ready tomorrow at two o'clock and uh, we'll have that. So I'm about to pull up, I think. I'm like 30 minutes outside of Nashville. I live in, in Nashville proper and I'm curious what this place is. Cause I have no idea where I'm at. I have no idea what is going on. This place is like fenced off. It says to enter here. I think the issue I'm having is that I'm lacking internet over here because I have AT&T and in Tennessee, AT&T is not good. Um, so this is kind of like an industrial area. This is like a big truck place. Looks like a concrete plant. Um, I think I'm going in the right area, but I have no idea. Edessa, Nashville. Bro, this is, this is weird. I think this is it though. Vehicle check-in. Okay, here we go. Well, this isn't CarMax, it's Edessa. Maybe this is the people that are buying it. These look like cars that have been traded in. I got spikes on that thing. Carvana drop off. That's what it says. This place does not look open and the hours say seven o'clock or Fridays only. Um, we're gonna head inside and see if what happens. Yes. The finance is close to that amount as possible. It's okay if it's over a little bit, as long as it's not a thousand plus. Yeah, no. <laughs> so he's currently driving the car around the parking lot um, to make sure that it's in functioning order. Um, makes sense that there's no engine lights or anything. So the, when I got in there, I did took care of a lot of the paperwork online. So it was like literally five signatures, handing me a receipt, and then he's doing this, and I'm gonna get a check. So he's kind of going around the outside now. To me, that's the advantage of doing something like this is it's quick. You go to a dealer and you're trading in, you have to haggle and get the prices and then they're gonna offer lower. So, cause I, I actually, he's taking pictures over there now too. I had put out a thing on the KBB. Uh, the KBB website will give you like instant offers, but it uh, gives it to all the dealers in the area. One of my buddies works at a dealer, called me, he's like, hey, you wanna sell your car? And uh, he's like, yeah, I'll give you 31 for it because the KBB is 33. And I was like, well, I already got 37 basically from Carvana. So I'm gonna go with that one. Um, the dealers offer you less because they want margin on top of that price, which is gonna be the lowest. And then you have to haggle back and forth and go this and that. And just, this is like, I showed up, signed the paperwork. It's not gonna be as much money as private sale. But I don't have to deal with Facebook marketplace. People being like, oh, I'm interested. And then they don't show up or they try to do some sketchy stuff. like. It's instant. This is not an ad for them, but this is the first time using them. This is my experience so far. Now, I may run into some issues, but he just pulled it into the final area where it needs to be checked in. So I assume everything's good. Now, I opted for a check rather than the direct deposit. And that's just because I want to have a physical thing when I leave here instead of just like hoping that I'm going to get the wire. That's just me, though. Just like that, I printed a check. I got it. I can go cash it right now. So that was probably 10 minutes max, not even 10 minutes. And I got to check, easy. So I arrived here at 11.38 and it's currently 11.54. So literally six, probably 15 minutes exactly, just like they said. And I have a check and I'm gonna deposit, mobile deposit on my phone and that's it. So my wife followed me and picked me up. And then tomorrow I'm going to pick up my new car. I'm just gonna Uber there probably. So this process was, I'm gonna get my full review when I get home, but this is my first experience and I'm actually pretty intrigued by it. Just like that, we got a check for $36,400 and the transaction is complete and now the check is cleared. It's gone into my account. I've already done it, mobile deposit. The process was very simple. I got the money quickly and I didn't have to wait and deal with a lot of the BS that you deal with with selling a car. Now that's me being impatient, wanting money now. And that is the point of Carvana. The point of Carvana is not to get the most money. It's for convenience, it's quick. And especially during the peak of cars over the last couple of years, they were offering more than dealers were selling cars. It was like crazy town because nobody could get cars they're buying people out of their leases and making eight grand but that's my experience with Carvana I think it's pretty good I haven't bought a car from there but I'm gonna take it 
now we obviously have to test model Y. Hope you guys have been enjoying these car content videos. If you don't know, I'm a sneaker YouTuber. That's my main profession. This is something that I do on the fun. I love cars. You can see the Porsche logos. There is something coming back to the fleet here in a few days that you guys will see about. We have a lot of stuff coming up. There's a Lamborghini that I bought I never told you about. There is a car that got stolen. My Mercedes Benz AMG GTR got stolen. Like crazy stories coming soon. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. Peace.